Welcome to the Ultra Blue channel where we provide detailed guides and tutorials to help you master tech. Today, we'll be covering how to install softwares on Kali Linux. Whether you are a tech enthusiast or a professional or just getting started with Kali Linux, this guide is for you. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our latest tutorials. Your support helps us to create more valuable content. Let's get to it. Before we start, you have to understand what package management is. Kali Linux, like many other Linux distributions, use a package manager to install, update, and remove softwares. The default package manager for Kali Linux is APT, which stands for Advanced Package Tool. It handles the installation and management of software packages from the official repositories. The first step in installing software is to update the package list. This ensures you have the latest information about available packages. Open your terminal and type sudo apt update. Key in your password. And it's going to go ahead and update your package manager. Let's break the code down as it updates our package manager. The sudo gives us the super user or administrative privileges which are required for system-wide changes. Now the apt is the package management command and the update over here, the update refreshes the lists of available packages and their versions but does not install or upgrade any package. To find any software, you can search the package list using the apt search command, followed by the name of the software. For example, to search for the Firefox browser, as an example, we already have Firefox here, but let's use it as an example, a familiar example in showcasing how you could install any software. So, to search for a software, simply type in apt search followed by the name of the software you are looking for. So in this case, Firefox. This command will display a list of packages related to Firefox along with their descriptions. So we have um, buttons for Firefox. So let's go up. Great. You see different different packages which are related to Firefox. For instance, we have Firefox for certain languages such as um, Vietnamese, that's if it's correct, Ukrainian, we have um, Tagalog, we have Thai languages, or uh, we have Portuguese, we have um, Norwegian, etc. etc. All these packages are related to Firefox. So so assuming we wanted to install any of these related um, packages, all we would have to do is first of all identify the exact one we would like to install. So let's let me get to one for instance. Let's get the Firefox Developer Edition, which was published in 2023. So let me go ahead and copy the name, but I don't have to type it off head. Wait. Now that we have the name of the package we want to install, simply type sudo apt install oops, then the name. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Wait, then you hit enter. It's going to ask whether you'd like to um, download it, which is going to be 67.5 megabytes. Then I'm going to go and press yes and go ahead to download it. Again, as it downloads, let's go ahead. Um, let's go over this code or what I say this command we, we typed in. The sudo again gives you the necessary administrative privileges. The apt is a package management command. The oops, uh, the install 
tells the package manager that you want to install a package and the firefox is the name of the package specifically the developer edition english us keyboard so it's 95 percent complete and there it goes If you want to remove a package, use the apt remove command followed by the package name. For example, to remove the Firefox version we just installed, type in sudo apt remove, then the name of the software you'd want to remove. So in this case, we want to remove the Firefox um, developer edition. So then we hit enter. And it's asking us whether we'd like to remove it. We go ahead and hit yes and hit enter. Then it's going to go ahead and remove it. So this command here tells apt to uninstall the specified package while keeping its configuration files. To remove the package along with its configuration files, you need to use a different a different command. And the command goes like this sudo apt purge then followed by the name of the software you'd want to uninstall the purge will remove both the package and its configuration now we've already removed the package but let's we've not configured anything but let's go ahead and run this command and see what we get mm, yes Great. So if there were any configuration, it's going to go ahead and remove them. So next is installing softwares from the DB files or the DEP files. Sometimes you may need to install softwares that are not available in the repositories. In such case, you can download a DEP file, which is a Debian software package format. To install a dip file or a .deb file, use a dkpg command. For example, if you want to install a .deb file name, let's say example.deb, you say you say sudo dpkg hyphen i. Oops hyphen i then you type in the name of the software you want to install so let's say example or dev now let's break this code down before we progress the dpkg is a debian package the dpkg here is the debian package manage management tool the i here stands for install and then the example.deb here is the name of the downloadable, the downloadable package file we want to download. If there are any missing dependencies, you can fix them with um, sudo apt install hyphen f. Now let's um, break down this two as well. The F here stands for fix broken, which tells APT to fix any broken dependencies. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Great. So it's going to go ahead and fix any de broken dependencies we might have. Another way we can also install um, softwares is the use of snap. Snap is another package management system that makes it easy to install softwares. First, you'd to use that tool, you'd have to first of all install Snap. So to install Snap, go ahead and type in sudo apt install snap. Then you hit enter.
and it's going to go ahead and install it. Great. So after installing Snap, you can install software using the Snap install command. For example, to, ins to install the VLC media player, you type in sudo snap install then VLC. So by following these steps, you can easily install, manage and remove softwares on Kali Linux using various methods. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ultra Blue channel for more tutorials and tech guides. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your others. Your support helps us to create more content such as this. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.